Hi everyone, I'm Moonlight Mason, and in this video, we are going to begin reading Trisha Paytas' book, The Stripper Diaries. Many of these entries are short, so I may include more than one day, because sometimes one day in her diary is just a half a page or one page. So, if you are interested in Trisha Paytas and learning a little bit about her mind back in the day and how she got to be the Trisha Paytas that we know now, you may be interested in listening into this book. Now, we just completed her first book, The History of My Insanity. So if you want to start there, all those videos have been recorded and they're on a playlist. Let's begin with the stripper diaries. If you are new to my channel, know that I am doing Trisha Paytas' readings in addition to my makeup giveaway challenge in which I unbox subscription boxes and what I don't want, I give away. And I put it in a giveaway. So if you want to know more about that, go look at some of the other videos that I do. But without further ado, let's get into Trisha Paytas' The Star Copyright, which is 2013. It says, this ain't the Princess Diaries. It's the Stripper Diaries. Funny, sad, shocking, true. Disclaimer, I do not endorse becoming a stripper. Not that it ever sounded glamorous to me, but movies, TVs, lies, whatever, make it around like it's the best and easiest job ever. It's not, especially in today's strip clubs. Trust me. Warning. This is not glamorous and it may not make perfect sense as it is scattered. I literally transcribed straight from the actual journals I kept at the time and I really didn't hold anything back. I changed names, locations, and certain events but everything is very real. It's dark and it's graphic, but I wanted to present the world of stripping as it was when I was doing it as it is today. Again, 2013, uh, if you really wanna know more about what's happening with strippers today, this is me telling you, uh, watch Nina Unrated's channel. <laughs> it's the best and I absolutely adore Nina. And Nina and Trisha Paytas have a lawsuit going on. So let me know if you want to know more about that down below and then I can add some more commentary. Let's proceed. Having said that, I did find humor in some of my entries. Maybe it's because I lived it and looking back on what I thought was the lowest point of my life in the grand scheme of things, I realize it's just a minor bump in my read in my road. It's just something I figured I'd share. Again, this is a small snippet of my life as a stripper and all these entries were written in the best and all these entries were written in the heat of the moment. To learn more about me and my life as a whole, my first book, The History of My Insanity, goes more into who I am as a person and not who I was as a stripper. No judgment on strippers as I was one, just observations and facts. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but a lot of people do ask me about it. I'm pretty open. Stripping is bad. I am forgiven. I am just lucky to have gotten out. It can suck you in. Let's begin with October 16th. 2016. Dear Diary, I didn't realize it'd be this hard. Five months in Hollywood and I'm broke and unemployed. My only friend Brian, an assistant to a major iconic rock star, suggested a job for me. A job he told me could make me a lot of money and fast. I did tonight what I never thought I'd do. I became a stripper. I hate it. I hate being naked. I hate people touching me for $20 anywhere they want, but I'm a star. I literally wouldn't even get my clothes back on before another guy wanted a dance. Sure, 
they smell bad. But for the most part, I explained I was new and pretty much just danced in front of them with an occasional boob grab. Ouchie though. They want me to work tomorrow and after making $300 tonight, I'm tempted. I think Presley was a good choice of name. I get a lot of older guys with that one. I, it also lets me dance to Elvis whenever I want, which is awesome. My heels from my graduation are going to get way too worn out though. Gotta find me some big chunky ones. Guess I'll Google that. Also need to find pole lessons. I had no idea what to do on stage. Only need this for a couple more months to get back on my feet. Still continuing my prayer book and going to auditions and school. Got it under control. Should also invest in some hair extensions and string bikinis. My old navy swimsuit is just not as sexy as the other girls. High hopes and super duper optimistic. Seems like pretty easy money. I guess what they say about strippers is true. They make bank. I'm going to make an appointment for headshots next week. Finally, wouldn't it be awesome to wouldn't it be awesome if Quentin Tarantino or Burt Reynolds came in one day? I heard they get cele celebrities in there a lot. How cool, huh? Hopefully, the touching will calm down after a few nights. And that's it. That's it. We're going to keep the first one short. I read you the first entry. And let me know what you thought about it down below. It was her first night as a stripper. And I will see you in my next video on the Stripper Diaries. Bye.